then what you are seeing right now is just a diagram that has been cropped out so if you you are seeing here we are trying to look at uh, the azure line okay we are going to zoom in the azure line okay but before we do that let's look at certain structures which we need to know we have got what we call the trachea left pulmonary artery pulmonary veins bronchioles left main bronchioles and the heart okay so all these structures you are seeing here they help in what respiration excluding the what the heart okay because you're talking about the lungs and the things which help people to breathe or things that help air to be brought to the heart to the lungs okay let's now try to zoom in let's try now to zoom in certain parts so what you are seeing right now is that So what you are seeing right now is that uh, we have what we call uh, the respiratory bronchioles, okay, and uh, the alveoli, okay. So if you look at where the case is pointing, we have branches of pulmonary vein, okay. As you know, vein always carry what or take away blood towards the heart. Then arteries take blood towards the what? I mean away from the heart okay so all arteries take blood away from the heart then veins take blood towards the what the heart so what you are seeing here we have got what we call smooth muscles okay so these smooth muscles also help in terms of trying to regulate the amount of air that can go out or not so sometimes you find that when someone has got a pathology pathophysiological condition such as asthma so this asthma brings about whereby you find that these muscles they become tight more than usual okay which brings about a lot of challenges in breathing and uh, there are sometimes you'd find that there might even be inflammation of the walls of the respiratory uh, zone which might prevent or might make it very difficult for someone to breathe in and out okay which makes the residue volume to increase okay and when you talk about residue volume you are basically talking about the amount of air that remains in the lungs after complete uh, uh, after you breathe out your hair under forcible or under active breathing huh? so the amount of air that is taken out after you breathe air forcibly okay so the one that remains in the lungs intact which cannot be taken out is known as what residue volume then when you go down you're going to find that uh, we are going to talk about what we call uh, the respiratory bronchioles huh? so these structures known as respiratory bron uh, bronchioles they are involved in what we call gas exchange huh? go to what we call the alveoli the alveoli are the final areas where gas has exchange take place where oxygen is going to the security system and carbon dioxide is being taken away from the security system into the what alveoli space so it can be taken out or expired okay out of the body so this is a vital area that we are going to talk about later on as we go on learning about respiratory physiology and the capillaries as you know are very tiny and they are near to each and every cell so that they promote gaseous exchange okay let me zoom out then we go on the next slide okay so when you look at this slide this is our final and last slide okay for now so we'll talk about it so when you talk about the alveoli so the alveoli as an epithelial layer and extracellular matrix surrounded by capillaries in some alveoli walls there are pores between the alveoli called pores of koan okay so then alveoli contain collagen fibers and elastic fibers there are three types of cells in the alveoli we have got one is type 1 the monocyte and type 2 the monocyte and you have got also what we call microphages so the type 1 the monocytes are responsible for gaseous exchange okay the crossing of gases between the thin epithelia of the alveoli into the what capillary membrane and also the crossing of from the membrane of the blood capillary into the what into the alveoli space so that it can be expelled okay then when you talk about the type 2 they're the ones that are responsible for producing surfactants huh? so surfactants are able to reduce the surface 
tension or they're able to lower the surface tension okay in the lungs or in the alveoli surfactants are more like they're they are they're more like a fluid okay that prevents surface tension then we have got what we call the microphages we have got what we call the microphages which destroy foreign materials and microbes so these microphages are able to attack foreign particles which were able to escape the defense mechanism of the respiratory system in the nose in the conducting zone and in part of the respiratory zone so this is the final stage that those particles that can be what engulfed and destroyed so guys thank you for uh your time and uh if you have got any questions please uh you can write below uh the powerpoint so that i will respond to you uh in the right amount of time so this is the end of the lecture thank you very much for your time and uh, god bless bye